Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, I have got my Philodendron Splendid here which is in desperate need of a pole extension. So if you've seen, I'm struggling to get this, you can't even see the top of it. If I just, if I do this, hopefully you'll be able to see that we've got this leaf and then here we've got another leaf coming out um, and obviously the pole ends here so very very desperate for a report sorry I cannot get this in the frame um, and then the bottom of the plant is obviously got some smaller growth down there all the way up to there and then <laughs> behind there is the new leaf sorry that is incredibly difficult obviously i am absolutely thrilled with how much this has sized up i cannot believe so this can you see that one yeah that was the leaf it would pushed out like really not that long ago um and then it just pushed this one out which is just an absolute giant and while it was pushing this one hadn't even come out yet and it was already pushing that leaf out like i took a picture of it and i put it on my instagram because i've never seen anything like it it was just like it was literally pushing two leaves out at once it was that fast and then the other thing which i have showed you before i really hope you're going to be able to see it's pushing out a new growth point oh here can you see in here hopefully you can we'll bring it closer um it's just really wobbly so i'm a bit nervous about Hang on, I've got my potting mat in the way. Let's move that. Um, where is it? Here. Actually, you should be able to see that fine. It's just there. So there's a whole new growth point coming out there as well. So I'll give you a close-up of that leaf because it is stunning. Um, it hasn't hardened off yet, which is why it's so light. And to try and give you an idea of size, if I can get it next to my head. There. It is quite big, so I can't wait to see how big that new leaf is going to be. Um, but obviously we need a, po a pole extension. So I thought I would take the opportunity to do a bit of an update and, um, yeah, just to let you know what the situation is with this pole. Because if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I was struggling with the D-shaped moss poles. I have one here because I'm going to use it for something else it's dirt it's got all like moss in it because I've I've used it before so this is the normal d-shaped moss pole which probably you're familiar with you use acetate for the back and then you put a grid of I don't know what it is some kind of mesh stuff on the front um and they're great except for the fact that they're I were finding that they're quite flimsy um so by the time I've got an extension on um, I think it was my Escaletto. I was filming and I went to move it and it literally, the, it just snapped. Like, I think it was halfway through the pole, it just snapped. Um, not like it snapped, it just bent and luckily I caught it and it was all fine. But that is the problem I'm having with them. I'm finding that they're just a bit flimsy. Um, so I did some experiment. Well, I gave it a lot of thought because I love... The d-shaped moss poles because you've got this acetate keeping i'm saying acetate i think that's the right word i'm pretty sure it is um keeping all the moisture in um which really really helps because before i have tried just the round ones and it is really hard to keep them hydrated so i love the d-shaped moss poles for that and i love them when you've just got one but when you come to extend them especially if it's a big plant i was just finding they were too flimsy so i decided that i was going to kind of like combine the two poles together so i made a round um pole with the mesh stuff which is this it just comes in a huge roll of it i think i got it from amazon i'm not 100 percent sure um this stuff i don't think this is wire i think this is just plastic mesh um going forward i probably would get a wire one coated with plastic because i think it would be stronger um but it's working fine um and then i use the acetate to basically line the inside of the pole 
Um, so on this one, for example, hopefully you can able to see this, from here to here, all the way around the back is all acetate and then I've just left this section open so that the plant can get to the pole. So that um, method I've used on this one, I think this was the first one I tried it with and then I also put my Cebu Blue onto a pole like that and I said that I would give you updates because I don't know what it's going to be like, it was a complete experiment at that time. I have not seen anyone else doing this correct me if I'm wrong or if you've seen it somewhere else but I'm not aware that anyone else is doing this I have found it so much better than both of them because you like you're literally getting the best of both worlds um so yeah the the mesh gives it a bit more strength and then the acetate keeps all the moisture in so it's a it's a round pole it's a closed back round pole um and yeah I've been getting on great so I just wanted to share that with you because I said I would um, and I know there were like multiple discussions going on in the comments of, of whether, you know, people agreed with it or not. And um, I think two people were were saying, oh, well, you should just buy them and this sort of thing. And then actually other people in the comments were correcting them and saying no, because the ones that they were suggesting I buy aren't as good as what I've done, which is, you know, great. <laughs> um, I'm not suggesting it's like some ingenious idea, but if you're struggling with that i try this because i found it great and i wanted to wait until it got a little bit warmer before i updated you because i wanted to just double check that it's still you know staying hydrated and i mean don't get me wrong obviously i'm still having to water it um but i remember in this in back in the winter when i first did this i was having to water my moss poles like three times a week and i did as, as soon as i changed it over I was doing them like every 10 days maybe so immediately such a difference um so yeah I highly recommend giving this a go um and I found it to be more sturdy when it comes to extending them as well so I'm gonna go ahead and if I'm making any new moss poles I'm gonna be making this kind I'm going to use this because I'm not gonna waste it um and actually sort of side note this one is a bit stronger anyway because I actually bought the wrong plastic the first time and this stuff is like really strong like you can bend it but it's it's a lot stronger than the acetate so I'm going to be putting my Amazonii on this but anyway that is for later on in the video if I even get to that it depends how long this takes um I'm really nervous about doing this it's kind of funny to me because I love this plant so much um it's just become like such a staple in my collection because it's just like huge and beautiful um so one i'm nervous about chopping it because it's not going to be huge anymore i mean obviously the foliage is huge but it's not going to be like this really tall well i guess it will be because this is i mean the top of it will just be empty for a while but it will end up being the same height because i'm going to do two poles um you know i'm still going to end up with two poles um, but the reason it's funny is because I didn't even want this plant. Um, it was a um, like a bundle on Facebook and I can't even remember what was in the bundle and what I actually wanted. But this was just one of the plants that came with it and I was like, yeah, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll take that obviously because it's coming with the, with the bundle and I just chucked it in a pot. And this was that leaf, that original leaf that it came with. Um, which is really stunning it's like in absolutely immaculate condition still i don't know how it got posted to me has acclimatized to my old house got moved here got acclimatized to this house and is still just like beautiful um and yeah here we are however many probably about a year later we're here and i absolutely love it so it's just it's just funny to me that i didn't even i wasn't even that fussed about this plant and i absolutely am fussed now so I think we're going to get straight into it. I'm going to make the pole. I'll probably just whiz through that bit. Um, what is that? Is that a root? No, it's okay. It's just a um, zip twine. Um, yeah, I'm going to whiz through that bit. I'll probably show you just so you can see how I make it. But yeah, it's fairly self-explanatory. Just make a round pole and then put acetate in the back of it. Um, one thing I will say is I have counted how many like holes there are around this. And there are 20. Um and i think i'm going to make one with 19 holes 
because oh, should I or should I just I don't know because I need it to go inside the top is what I'm trying to say um I don't know whether to do it to 20 and just like ram it in because I, I don't really want to be any smaller than it is okay I'm going to do that I'm going to do it for 20 and hope for the best but um yeah that's just something to know if you are going to make moss poles um particularly like round ones and you're going to extend them count how many you've done or before you make your new one because i did it once i just guessed it and i was like oh yeah that looks about right and it was literally about one square too big and of course it wouldn't go in the top so then i had to put it over and then when you water all the water runs out of the first pole and then just runs down the outside of the bottom pole so don't do that um but yeah i'm gonna get started making that pole Okay, so that is made. Hopefully you got the gist of what I did. One thing that I should have mentioned when I was explaining um, is that you hopefully saw me like I had the mesh laid out flat and then I put the acetate over the top and I counted, I was counting six because I want there to be six holes on the front that are open. So I counted six across, then lined the acetate up and then cut the end of it off. Um, and then the other thing, the way that I fasten the acetate to this is I literally, you probably saw again me um, poke some holes through. So then once I'd cut it, I put it in the middle of the mesh and I poked two holes in the acetate and then obviously finished the pole off itself. And then when I put the acetate through, it already had two holes. And then I've literally just used one, um, why have I forgotten? Zip tie to hold to go through all of it so it's hold that one zip tie is holding all of the acetate on and then obviously it's going to have the moss in there pushing it out so it's actually really quick to make um so yeah i really like these i'm as i say going to be using them going forward so i think i'm probably going to leave the camera like that because i'm going to have to do this on the floor i'm going to empty my i've got some rubbish in my not rubbish i've got some soil on my potting mat so i've just dumped that in my soil bin um and then oh, i've got so much stuff everywhere because i've been repotting but i think i'm gonna have to like clear the deck to get this to get this plant down um okay so how are we gonna do this Yeah, I don't know if I actually mentioned it. I'm going to be chopping and extending because I'm... Oh, should I? I'm so scared to just... Should I just extend it? Should I do that and just completely chicken out and just extend it? Because the one thing I do want to do is get it in a bigger pot because one of the reasons it is a bit unsteady is because it is in this tiny... What is this, a one litre pot? Yeah. Well, actually it's smaller, it's 12 centimetres, one litre is 15 centimetres, this is 12 centimetres. Um, so maybe I'll actually repot it now, put it in a big pot, extend the moss pole, and then I can chop it at a later date. I think I might do that. One, because I'm, I'm chickening out. But two, because I don't want to shock the plant too much. So I think maybe repot and then extend. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good shout. And I'm going to be incredibly careful with the top of this plant because I do not want to damage that emergent leaf. Ah, she says. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So I try not to repot when new leaves are coming out. I'm always saying that and I'm always doing it. And that is because 
new leaves are always coming out i can't there's only so much i can do um but yeah i'm gonna just try and do this as painless is there anything coming out yeah there are roots coming out the bottom i think it's not going to be too bad to be honest because okay no there are there are a fair amount of roots in there um i will try and show you i'm not going to pick it up but you can hopefully see there's quite a few roots in there um but i was going to say i don't think it's going to be that root bound because most of the roots are in the pole um but yeah there's a there are a few roots in there so that is good that we're doing a repot i don't know how big to go but i want to be able to get it into a heavy pot so actually maybe i'll do it backwards i'll think about the pot i want to put it in and then i'll i know you shouldn't really do that but i think in this case i'm going to um i'm gonna just pull i put moss in the bottom of my pots so that everything doesn't fall straight through so i'm gonna try and pull that out because i don't really want that mixed in that will do chuck it in another pot for now okay so let me get the pot sorry i was yabbering on over there but i've no idea if you can hear me so my aloe vera was in this pot and it's like the heaviest pot i've got um that's not like really big so i think that's going to be good so now yeah as i say doing it backwards trying to find a nursery pot that will fit in there Okay, that will fit quite nicely. Unfortunately, I've picked the one pot out of all of them that doesn't have any drainage. And I do want drainage in the bottom of this one because I don't like picking it up and taking it to the bathroom because obviously it's so big. Um, oh, how annoying is that? Okay, what about this one? Is that the same size as that? It's a bit smaller, but there's not much in it. I'd rather use that one. Do I think I can just poke some holes in the bottom and not cut myself? Not really. I'm not very good at things like this. I'm quite good at... Like, the, there's imprints of the where the holes should be. Oh, my God. Okay, right. See, that's why I don't do things like this. But I've started now, so maybe if I twist it a bit more. Do not try this at home. This is one of those. I'm doing an absolutely terrible job. I know that they're not very big holes, but it's enough to let the water out, and that's the main point. The other reason I want to use this pot is because it's it's only a um, nursery pot, but it's actually really like sturdy compared to some of the other ones, so I think that's going to be good. Um, yeah, ideally would these holes be a bit better? Yes, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that. Yeah, please don't don't do that anyone um i don't think that's that necessary because the holes are so small but just to and you know what else i'm gonna go and grab i will just actually repot this plant in a second but i'm just gonna get my lecker because i think i would like some more chunky stuff in this mix okay right i think i finally got everything but you know don't hold your breath i'll probably have to pop out and get something else in a second okay so at least you've got that bit sorted i've got a nice chunky pot that's going in because that was worrying me um i'm going to just detangle these roots a little bit not too much um i'm not that bothered honestly it's not so root bound um most of it's just at the for that bit at the front actually because i can feel the pole is kind of everywhere else so yeah i'm literally just going to do that just roughed it up a bit basically um and then i'm going to fill this pot up a little bit in the bottom because it is actually quite a bit higher a bit taller okay probably not that much though that is a bit too much i'm so good at doing that um and i'm literally just getting some bits of left as i go and mixing them in okay now i'm gonna have to stand it up which i don't really want to do okay right is it gonna go yes and is that enough soil in there yes 
perfect perfect okay so now i'm just going to back fill there's a little bit of more room in there not a whole lot honestly but this is where i hope that's straight because i didn't think to look at that yeah pretty straight okay so that is the repop done just realized i'm gonna now lay it down and possibly no actually i'm not gonna lay it down i'm gonna change the angle for you guys and i'm only gonna try and do it standing up I think I'll put it in this heavy pot. Mm, yeah, let's put it in here and then I'll do the extension standing up. Okay, hopefully that window is not too distracting. I can't do a lot about it because I need you to be this high. Um, I'm just going to twist it so you can kind of see a bit more. There. So that's obviously how tall the plant is on me at the moment. Um, can you see? Yes. Um, yeah, so it's pretty tall. And I think that's one of the reasons I am scared about repotting it because I really love it and it's going to be, I don't really want it to shrink right now. Um, so yeah, this bit's actually fairly straightforward. What I'm going to do, the other thing that I didn't mention is the, sorry, I've been down. The, um, materials that i happen to purchase the mesh and the acetate just happen to be the right size so the acetate comes to about here which is perfect because it means i can slip that much over the top of this pole that just happened i don't i didn't plan on that happening but it has and obviously it's really good um so i'm just gonna uh, i'm really so this has got aerials growing in already into the moss pole they're about I don't know, two centimetres long and there's two of them. So I'm having, do you know what I'm going to actually, so I've got it, can you see down here? No, a bit further down there's some zip ties holding it to the pole and I'm going to snip those because I need to bend it forward a little bit and I obviously don't want it to snap. And I think it's rooted in enough that it probably doesn't need those anymore anyway. So that hopefully will allow me to just bend it forward. No, it really won't. Okay, oh yeah, this needs to go inside, doesn't it? God. This is so difficult because it's, um, if you can see, it's like bent up, bent um, backwards into this pole. So I need to bend it forwards. And then I've got the aerials to contend with as well. And I'd really like this to go inside this pole, but I'm actually looking at it, thinking that's not going to happen. Which is a massive pain to be honest i should have done it 19 not 20. ah uh, i should have okay well you live in your man and it's not going to go over either okay what am i actually going to do can i force this to be a bit more snug at the bottom by just overlapping that grid as much as humanly possible. It is overlapped a little bit. I think because I've got to get the zip tie in as well, which, I mean, it isn't big, but obviously it's just something else to wedge into here. And it's all catchy because that's just what the mesh is like. And I've got to do all this and not squash those aerials. Oh god. Oh god. Right. Ah, okay, right, I've pulled oh my god, that area was massive. No wonder it wouldn't come out. There's one that was about two centimetres, but the next one was about an inch and a half, possibly bigger. I will try and show you, I appreciate you can't see very much. Um let me turn it around. You might be able to see a little bit more. So can you see let me bring you down a little bit. Hopefully you can see. I think I'm gonna have to nail down. These are the two aerials here. 
So that's a short one and this, there's this really long one, which is what was keeping in there. So now I've got it in, so I just need to push down. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do is take some of this moss out. Now I've got those aerials out, that is gonna make this so much easier. And I knew that I shouldn't have put all this moss in here without extending it, but obviously this aerial root was right at the top of the pole. Um, and I just did it and thought I'll sort that out later. And now here I am sorting it out later. So that should be fine. Take that out. Keep the aerials out. Oh, that's annoying because I'm gonna have to wedge this in here again. I'm trying to be so careful of those aerials. I do not want to snap them. I really need to get this in here. Come on, come on. Oh, so nearly. <laughs> okay, I think what I'll do is I'll like make into a love heart shape. I'll squish the front a little bit. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's how we do it. That's how you do it. You squish the front a little bit. Pull that up a tiny bit just so I've got a bit more. Actually, no, I'll push it down because the... There. So that's where the acetate is. So now the acetate from this pole has met the acetate from this pole. I'm going to keep those aerials out while I fill the bottom, well, the top of the first pole up. Oh, it's going to make a huge mess, but you know, it's fine. Um, come on, come on. Okay, right. Now I need to poke it down with something. A chopstick. Is this going to get? Big. Okay, that. Stay there. Right, that's gonna do. Okay. Oh no, I've just chopped the aerials off. Crap, they must have gone in and then when I moved it by accident. Okay, well, it is what it is. They are still there. I don't know if roots continue to grow if they get chopped. If someone could tell me, I guess they do. I guess maybe they. I don't know. I mean, hopefully you can see there. I have no idea what you can see because you're quite far away. Um, here, they are still quite long, but now they are broken and there's, there's more coming. So I'm not too worried about it. Obviously I would prefer if they hadn't broken, that would have been much better. And then I also just need to potentially learn my lesson to, Repot well extend I should have extended this when it needed extending and not left it for the aerials to grow in basically too high into the into the pole. But there we go, lessons learned. I think I'm going to zip tie this bit. I think because I want that to stay there and I need to bend this one forward and I don't want to do that. Well, it's not zip tied, so I've lost my zip ties. Okay, and then put it around here. Oops. And tighten that up. Keep those aerials in there. Okay, I think that's tight enough. And then in a second, or maybe even tomorrow, I will start to manipulate that where I want it. Oh my goodness, it's putting out another growth point there. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to fill this up with moss first. So I don't know how I'm going to get it in there because I obviously don't want to wedge my hand in again and cause problems like I just did. 
have to think of something. So this is soil ninja moss as well. I'm using, I pretty much always use their moss. Um, so this is, yeah, a very tall moss pile now. Definitely my tallest. I think what I'm gonna have to do is go in the front and poke it down from here rather than, oh yeah, that's much easier. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? How annoying. Okay, right. I do need to go and get my moss because I'd forgotten it. I knew I'd have to go and get something else. Okay, so I'm basically just going to be filling it up until we get to that next lot of aerials, which is, well, there's no aerials yet, but they will be coming from that node there on that new leaf. So that's where I'm gonna go to. I feel much better about this now it's in that heavier pot well slightly bigger and heavy cover pot um yeah it was just getting a bit precarious in that tiny little pot and it, it wasn't a very big one it's not it's not not light but just for the size of the plum i think it definitely needs something a lot heavier Okay, so I've gone just above that node, which should be absolutely fine. So what I wanted to show you was that growth point. Just bring it a bit closer and turn it around. Okay. So if I pull this caterpillar back, I might have to move you down actually. Can you see? No. Right, this caterpillar, if I pull that back, can you see there, that growth point? So it's pushing out this one down here, which you definitely can't see here. And it's now pushing out that. I'm going to just leave that like that and it can come out when it wants. And then obviously this is, this is what I was saying about it being bendy. So this, the acetate is all here. I need it to be like that. But I think I'll give it a few days to get in the aerial roots from the last one that I snapped some of them are down here um so I'll just give it a few days um and then I'll start manipulating that over there where it needs to be but that is that extended and repotted so not exactly what I intended to do today but I actually think that it's going to be it's better for the plant to do it like that rather than to try and chop it and repot it at once so yeah that is done absolute monster of a plant but yeah stunning absolutely stunning so i'm going to go and put this i'll probably put it straight in the bathroom actually because i need no i'm just going to leave it here for now because otherwise i'm going to get distracted because i've got loads of watering to do in there and if i start going in there i will get distracted because I know what I'm like and then it will be hours later and I wouldn't have filmed or cleared up any of the mess in here which is a lot of mess a lot a lot of mess okay oh that's right okay right just gonna leave it there it can be in the background of the photo of the video okay so this is Mad Antonio which you've probably seen before because I do really love it um it's just putting out some really beautiful growth and that is what the stem is looking like and it's got aerials coming out it wants to climb i know it's a climber um but yeah i got it from the plants walk and it just had these two really dinky leaves on it and they are so cute and then it's just recently started putting out these absolute huge leaves um i know they're not really huge but 
compared to what it was they are pretty big um so obviously i'm gonna need a bigger pot one that can take this pole so which one shall we go for maybe this would be a good option yeah i think that would be good okay cool so we know where we know what we're doing put some this has got massive holes in the bottom so some pots seem to have like really massive holes in the bottom and i don't really understand why because water can drain out of pretty small holes it doesn't need a huge huge hole like that um anyway that's a side note i think what i'll do is get that in here first i've just put some left on the bottom and now i can't there we go okay yeah if i get that in there first and get that filled up to the sort of level of the top of the pot um i'm just going to use my hand am i yep oh god that just went absolutely everywhere i'm gonna put a bit of lecker in i haven't mixed it with this um soil and i should be really. ah. Obviously, this isn't the best way to do it. You should really mix your soil mix. Okay. That's about to the level of the pot. And then I'm just going to put a small amount of soil on the bottom so that it's got something to grow into and take this one out just put this straight in here actually because i've not long since potted it so i think it's going to be fine but yeah when i said i wouldn't be surprised if it needed repotting again um it kind of does like not desperately but yeah so i'm just going to try and unravel some of these roots I've got quite a big root system, which is brilliant. It's a bit tangled though. something I have no idea what but I heard it snap hopefully that will come off in a second to be honest I think that's going to be fine there's a few there that I'd like to get a bit more untangled but when we get into snapping for the sake of breaking roots up I'm just going to leave it at that so I'm going to do it so that this hopefully will grow up the palm. Um, so I'm going to try and wedge it in here. There we go. Get all those roots facing down. And there. Okay, so I'm just going to hold the stem against the pole so I can kind of keep it still. While I report, you know, I really do need to mix some lacquer in with this instead of just keep doing it like that. Um, what can I do it in? Not really anything. Maybe I'll just use this pot, which isn't really going to work very well. Should definitely, definitely be more prepared. But hey, hey, okay. It's better than nothing. Just 
going to build it up a little bit more than I normally would at the front just because there are some really quite big aerial roots that go into the soil and I just want to keep them a bit more um, hydrated. So, and there's actually another root that's not far off the top of the soil so I'm hoping that that will go down into the soil. Now that it's potted up like that, so actually that looks really sweet, I'm glad I've done that. So obviously now I just, it is wonky because all of my moss poles are wonky because I can't seem to, I can't seem to do them straight. Um, so yeah, moss. And I don't need to go too far up, I'm just going to go up to here, which is where that area is. excited for the potential of this plant um as i said it's not one that i was planning on putting on a moss pole but because of the way that it clearly it clearly wants to grow that way so i think i'm just gonna let it and yeah if it does size up to what these you know the size these can get to that would be absolutely amazing um I don't know if they do that in like a household environment or maybe if it's something they only do in in nature i'm not sure um hopefully they can because that would be really cool um okay perfect i don't even think i'm going to at this point uh secure it to the pole because it's really rent right up against it like exactly where i want it to be honest so I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, yeah, that was actually a really quick and simple job, and I think it looks really beautiful. So, yeah, happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, what else do we have to do? I know I've got just like absolutely tons to do. Um, I think moss pole wise, that's it. Is it? Yeah, I think that's it moss pole wise. So I am going to end the video there. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy it, then please do give me a like down below. It would mean a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, then please do hit that subscribe button. But that's it for now. Um, yeah, stick with me to see some updates on these guys. You will, I will obviously let you know what this leaf turns out like. I'll pro probably put it on Instagram when it comes out. Fingers crossed it is sizing up like that previous one. Um, and likewise for the Adansoni eye, I'm really excited to see what kind of growth that one gives me. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with what I've got done today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.